In response to the bombing, authorities have stepped up patrols and random security checks in public transportation, including the railway system, Taipei MRT and high-speed rail. Though a preliminary report ruled out possible terrorist connections, the blast nevertheless represents the most violent such incident in the history of Taiwan's railways. No local trains were running before 5 p.m. today owing to Typhoon Napartak, but patrols were stepped up in railway stations. Police were also out in force in the Taipei MRT, which continued normal operations throughout the day. We are asking our colleagues to be on the lookout for suspicious individuals, situations or objects. We would also like to ask MRT station officials and cleaning staff to help conduct searches of out-of-the-way areas in their stations. Officials were on high alert across the capital's public transportation systems after a local train near Songshan Station was rocked by an explosion which injured 25 people. As far as safety measures are concerned, we've already sent orders to the TRA, the high-speed rail, airports and harbours to institute the most thorough precautions and put patrols into place. Immediately after the explosion, the Homeland Security Office, which is responsible for evaluating terrorist threats, sent officials to the scene to investigate signs of any possible links with extremist groups. However, Premier Lin Chen was quick to shoot down those suspicions. This morning we reached a preliminary conclusion that we can rule out a terrorist attack. This should be considered instead as a serious public safety incident. There have been numerous past instances of bombs on local trains, but in most of those cases, the bombs were placed as a threat and did not explode. Yesterday's explosion, with 25 injured, has now become the most violent single incident in the history of the Taiwan Railways Administration.